Night Watch, Demons Are Forever, is directed by Oli Bernadal and is currently streaming on Shudder. You should also know that this is a direct sequel to the Night Watch from 1994. 30 years, dude. 30 years ago. And we have a few we have a few of the same actors who actually returned in this one, which is pretty cool. And I'm not even dude, I'm not even sure if I've even seen the first one, to be honest with you. But hey, let's get into this one anyway. So so we begin with Emma, who's the daughter of Martin from the first film. Anyhow though, they're reeling from the death of her mom, who committed suicide years back. Dad is in deep depression and popping pills to drown the pain. Emma, she goes to school and gets a job as a night watchman at the Institute of Forensic Medicine. This is the same place where her father used to work 30 years back, where a psychopath by the name of Volmer, he uh, actually uh, attacked uh, and killed many people, dude, and even fucked with his dad and her mom. But obviously, Emma knew this and had advised a plan to uncover what happened and try and face it literally face to face. <laughs> Problem is, she may be opening a door that probably should stay closed. But she's curious, and now <laughs> she, her dad, as well as others, will pay the price. And oh, what a price they pay. And oh, the door she opened, dude. God damn. Anyhow, yeah, I, I enjoyed this one, though. I, I liked it a lot. I mean, I'll admit that I got this one mixed up with another movie, and I forget the name that I had seen, like, maybe 2015, 2016. Obviously, this is 20. This, uh, the original was in, you know, 1994, so totally different movie, though. But anyhow, though, that's beside the point, though. But, uh, yeah, but, yeah, to my surprise, though, I like this movie, though. I mean, you know, a bit of a slow start. I'll let you know that for sure. But once it picks up, though, it's really good, though. I mean, not a whole lot of bloody nastiness, though, but the scenes that they have, you know, that are bloody, they make them count, dude, for sure. This is, I'd say this is more of like a horror suspense, psychological drama. Oh, man, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I won't say too much because I don't want to, like, you know, there's some cool things and I don't want to spoil and whatnot in this movie, though. But, dude, there are some pretty creepy individuals who play their real, who play their roles very well, dude. I mean, almost believable, dude. I'm serious, man. Damn. Good-ass acting. Yeah, dude, they did a really good job with, like, very, like, intense, tense scenes, dude. With, like, good cinematography and lighting, dude. Also, dude, a bit of, like, the mystery killer type thing as well, you know, where you don't know who the killer is and whatnot. I wish I had seen the original film because there's some references that I didn't get. But I'll say this, though. It won't hinder your enjoyment of the movie, though, because, I mean, you'll, you'll still get it, though. But a very cool story, you know, that was well told. Plus, you have, you know, a dark version of, you know, father and daughter trying to work things out. But you got these deranged, disturbed individual wanting to kill your ass. Good stuff. Like I said, I'd say check it out for sure, dude. It's, it's worth the watch. Uh, something I just found out. I just remembered. That's right. Which actually is kind of cool and cute at the same time, I guess you could say. The actress who plays Emma in, in real, she's the real life daughter of the director, though. So, you know, it's kind of cool. They get to work together, I guess, right? So it makes me wonder if this is always the plan. You know, wait 30 years later, I guess, maybe. I'm not sure, but I wonder, though, for people who, who actually did see the one in 1994, back in the day, if this was actually well worth the wait or not, you know, the original film. So it makes me kind of curious. If anyone in the, you know, in the chat wants to say something, let me know. And this leads me, obviously, to my recommendation, which is the first film, Night Watch, from 1994, which is also on Shudder. I'll just say that right now. They're both on Shudder. You can watch them back to back. Anyways, though, it's about a law student who starts working as a night watchman at the Department of Forensic Medicine in Copenhagen. His mad friend gets him on a game of dare that escalates. As the serial killer's victims start piling up dude at work, he becomes a suspect. So, yes, I'll be watching this as well. <laughs> and like I just said, yeah, I say check them both out. I would watch them in order. I wish I had done that. I, I just had to watch this one first. I just had to. But anyways, though, like I said, it, you watch how you want to. But I think it would probably be cool to watch them in order, though. But anyhow, though, that's what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to watch the first one now. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys like it. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> Jay Nasty. So, anyhow, though, that's all for today. Stay nasty, my friends. And I will see you at the next one. And have a nice weekend. Shay Nasty out. I'll see you soon. Like and like subscribe. And subscribe.